How's it going? We are excited to be rolling out the new ALS credentialing process. I know it's been a long time coming, but there is an insane amount of work that goes into putting a package together as exclusive as this one. This is a revolutionary approach into how we treat our patients in the scope of airway management. And we're very excited to be rolling it out. I'm always impressed at how far we've come in the realm of airway control. We can reminisce and look back at such devices as the EOA or the EGTA, and let's not forget the multi-cupped monstrosity that was the combi tube. And what exactly is happening here? No, just no. But it seems like we're still holding on to some archaic practices when it comes to airway control. But what we should do is embrace the evidence, embrace the science, and develop a new set of best practices to treat that subset of our patients. so many great sets in the Manti County EMS studio. I'm just going to keep walking from set to set because they're so cool looking. So continuing to look forward, uh, there's more and more emphasis put on the pre-hospital care provider, especially in the realm of paramedicine. We're utilizing Scarbosa's criteria to interpret 12 leads. And then based on those interpretations, in some locales, we're delivering thrombolytics to patients in the field. So some very forward thinking, very progressive stuff. We do surgical cricothyrotomies. We do complex pharmaceutical math calculations uh, to deliver medications to patients. We're engaging in community paramedicine as that progression of pre-hospital care. We no longer look at us as just a facet to deliver somebody to healthcare, but instead, we are. So holding on to that concept of healthcare, we are worthy of the essential education and training needed to increase our aptitude for decision making and critical thinking. These capabilities require an entirely new paradigm in how we approach area management. And I'm excited to take you there. I'm also excited to see what sets next. These are so cool. The training will begin with some bite-sized video introductions to a lot of the concepts involved in the process. You're watching the first one now. Then we will look at pharmacology, suction-assisted laryngoscopy and decontamination. We'll take a look at the protocols and the procedures involved in the process. And then we'll kind of do a couple dry runs through the process from start to finish, just so you can get a good idea of what it looks like. And then we'll do the most important part. We're going to bring you into the classroom. There will be a short lecture on the science and the evidence-based medicine, kind of the method of the madness, if you will, behind all this. So you can see everything that went into developing the process, the research, the time frame, and then what we're going to do moving forward. And then we'll get to the most important part, which is the tactile portion, the hands-on portion. Well, that'll be the demonstration and participation part of the class. And that's coming up. So stay tuned. Wow, they saved the best one for last. Ah, oh, the smell of that waterfall. So Manticon EMS will continue to be a progressive force in the industry. We will continue to embrace evidence-based medicine and best practices within the pre-hospital realm, and maybe even be the innovators and develop best practices for the rest of the industry. There are no textbooks for what we're about to embark on. But I have a feeling that we'll be the ones that they do write about in the textbooks. There isn't anything that we can't accomplish together. Remember, there's going to be a series of videos released on CenterLearn for the up prior to the upcoming class. So watch CenterLearn, watch for those assignments, and get them done. There'll be short, sweet, little tidbits of information for you to digest before you come to the class. All right, folks. I hope you enjoy the training. Take care.